Hey everyone, it is Chris with OnlineStoreHelp.com and today I want to talk to you about lead magnets. So what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet, a lead magnet is just about anything that incentivizes a website visitor to sign up to your email list. And on e-commerce stores, the easiest one is a coupon code. Sign up for our list, we'll send you a 10% off uh, your next order. But uh, depending on your brand and what you do and whether you, you have the margins to do that, sometimes a coupon code does not work for you. So in this case here, I want to show you today how to create a different type of lead magnet and how to do it for free in three different ways. So let's go ahead and head over to the computer and we'll get started. Okay, so here we are at the computer and one of the best lead magnets that you can make if you don't want to use something like a coupon code is to provide some type of free ebook to incent them to sign up to your list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of something I'm going to be building for one of my e-commerce sites and I own a coffee site and my margins aren't real high and the product the product costs aren't high for me to really use a coupon code and plus because it's really high end I don't want to cheapen the brand by using discounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a buyer's guide of different coffee related things that are great for people who drink high end coffee. So this would be espresso machines, french presses, burr grinders, everything that a coffee aficionado would want. Now if you're on a computer and you have um, you have Word or Pages, you can do that right in there. Same thing with PowerPoint or Keynote. But what I wanna show you is if you don't have all these, uh, if you're on a budget and all you have is stuff that is free, I wanna show you how you can do this. So first of all, before you get started creating any of this, uh, you need to go ahead and pull assets. That would be links to things on Amazon you wanna link to, uh, photos of things you're going to recommend, stock photos you can use to make your uh, make your ebook look prettier and in this case here I've practically written the entire book already I just need to add figure uh, add pictures and make it look prettier so again I have this in pages which is a Mac based program but just to show you how easy it is to do let's go to number one here we're gonna go into Google Drive and we're gonna do a new Google Doc and Google Docs like Pages or Word, and you can create a uh, ebook this way. And so what I've done is I've come over to Unsplash and kind of pulled some coffee pictures that kind of go with the theme of this coffee book here. But if I want to go ahead and pull these, so if I want to pull this over here, and I want to make it so one thing that you'll notice is at least with documents unless you play around with the formatting some uh, you can't do a full screen which is fine but if I wanted to create my coffee buyers coffee aficionados buyer's guide by Chris and I can increase the font on that to let's say 30 and and I can just go ahead and keep doing it so for example here I'll just kind of copy and paste from and paste it in here. So one of the things that you want to do is you want to do a little bit larger font to make it easier to read but not ridiculously big. So maybe we'll try out 18 there. Yeah, 18 is good. It's nice and readable. And I can add in a page break right here. And so in this case here, I just want to do the first part of this, which is a a grind here and 
again I'm going to bring this down to 18 right and so one of the things I want to do is I want to add in a picture of what is being used here so the text and as you can see just like that we have a photo in here and we have a link to Amazon that we can use and right and just like that we have a link to Amazon for everything that we want to use and this is probably the simplest way to do it when you're done with it file and download it as a PDF and then attach it to your email marketing system. Simplest, easiest way to do it. Um, I don't normally do it this way just because I try and make things a little bit prettier looking. So in that case here, we've come back to Drive. Instead of a doc, we're gonna do slides. And slides are like PowerPoint or Keynote, and you can do this with them as well. So in this case here, the first thing I wanna do is do a blank layout and the other thing I want to do is I want to do a page setup and I want to do a custom what I want to do is I want to do eight and a half by eleven right and so that is standard here in the US and again for here I can start I can pop that in and I can actually make that full width here and so there's a lot more functionality I can add in text box here which would say um, coffee buyer coffee aficionados aficionado buyer's guide and move that up to let's say 36 and do that as center and move that into the center there and boom I have my title page there and so what I can do now is I can add a new blank page and maybe I want to do Maybe this is my page on grinders. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this white. I'm going to increase the size to 36 and I'm going to do it there. And if I don't like it, I can bring it down here. And now I have a title page. And again, I can copy this and I can add in some of my text right there. And again, I can take one of my photos, so let's say I want to do it here and then bring down the size add in a text box right here make that a link and boom right there we now have a page just for our grinders and again you could do this as you can see it just it looks just even that a little bit nicer and finally if we come over here to canva and canva is another one which is it's really cool what you can do with this you can do checklists with this um, and what have you but even if i just wanted to make a an ebook 
and they have both paid and free. And the paid is relatively inexpensive, but you can go ahead and, uh, as you can see, it's got different areas that you can use. So I could, um, let's see what here, what looks good, paid. So maybe I want to do this, here we go. And so in this case here, elements, free photos, Maybe I want to do and excuse the noise in the background, that's my little dog deciding to try and dig through the carpet. So you can look. You know we got that. And in this case here, we can say Buyer's Guide to Coffee. And if I want to come up to Elements, and let's say I want to do Icons. There's tons of icons you can use. I wish they would do their, fix their search. It's not the best. So let's see if I can do Coffee. I do illustrations. Here we go. And I'll put that right up there. And then all I got to do is add a new page, come back to our layouts again. And now, instead of the here, Again, this is just showing you exactly what you could do. Stretch that out. And what I want to do is I want to send that back. Send it back, send it back, send it back. And I can do it forward if I want to. So I delete that. And we call this again Brainders. why you need a burr grinder. Again, if I want to add in that, uh, that one right there, I can. Add in a new page. Again, go back to our layouts. And this will be the standard here. And even here, I can change this to something gray. Or I can change it to a darker brown. And so I want to delete this one just to just to show you what we can do. And again, and so Let's say, so I'll put an icon here and right, that's done there. And then what I can do is I can do do elements and do a shape. Let's say I want to do a button. So just as an example, click the go button, bring down size, buy at Amazon. And then also, now that we have the buy at Amazon, I can turn that into a link. that so when it gets printed out this will turn it into a link in the PDF so again you can go through doing your entire book right here and then when you're ready 
click download. You could do it as a PDF, you could do it as a PDF and print version, but I like to do it standard. And you can even do certain pages, but if you hit download, right, save that file, right, here's our ebook. And as you can see, there's the link to Amazon, and you can build a beautiful, beautiful ebook for absolutely free or for a small dollar amount. So I hope this has helped you look at how you can create a beautiful lead magnet to entice your customers to sign up for your list. And once they're on your list, it allows you to kind of follow up and market to them when you're in specials or doing Black Friday or, uh, or subscriber only specials. And it's a great way to do it without having to spend a lot of money. So um, what I'm gonna do is once I finish my ebook, I will leave it in the members area. I'll leave a link below. You just gotta register with your email address and uh, I will share with you uh, what the final product look like if you're interested. So again, uh, thank you again for watching. If you like to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. And if you know anybody else that might get use out of this, go ahead and share it with them. So again, thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.